So this is the first dev log for my Survive the Night game, which I've been kind of working on. I started on this game like nine months ago, and I think I worked on it for like a month. And then I took a long break, and now I'm trying to revive it and actually like finish it up, make it nice and polished, and probably try to split it up into multiple game rooms so we can have like a nice ecosystem, maybe add achievements and badges. Who knows? I just want this to be like a fully finished game and not just abandon it before I'm even close to being done. The first thing I want to demo are the weapons, and we have a nice debug uh, feature here that I can actually spawn whatever weapon I want here. Uh, so this is the AK-47, so this one shoots fast. Alright, um... Oh, out of ammo. Let me pick up a knife. There's also a knife melee weapon, so I can attack them if I run out of ammo. And then when daytime comes, all the zombies basically die. So that was the AK. We do have the knife. I kind of demo that. We have a grenade, which you can actually throw, and that'll kill zombies. So, like, if I go and spawn a zombie here, uh, let's just throw this one out. Okay. And I can basically run pretty fast with shift, and I'll throw the grenade, and that blows up with a radius over there. Okay. Some other weapons we have include, I think we have a bolt action rifle. Okay, this one shoots a little bit slower, but it does like three damage to the zombies, so it's kind of powerful. We have the flamethrower. This one's pretty cool. If I equip this one, it just shoots flames, and so you can kind of just ignite a path if a bunch of zombies are coming your way. Um, also, if you were to walk over these flames, you will catch on fire too. What else do we have? We have the grenade launcher. So I'll pick up the grenade launcher. Again, this just shoots that same grenade that I, I demoed before. Uh, let me make a torch so I can actually see. I'll make the torch, pick it up. Okay, let's go back and just fire a grenade. So here's the shotgun. It shoots three bullets. Each one does one damage, so it's close. So it's good if a bunch of zombies are kind of clustered together. I think that might be it for weapons. I think I want to add like a magnum and maybe more melee weapons. So like, I don't know, a baseball bat. But overall, those are the weapons. We also have a bunch of different types of zombies. So we have the normal slow zombies that you saw here. Um, there was a fast zombie, which runs a little bit faster and attacks faster. So these things you don't want to get close to because they will just tear down your HP. Um, some other zombies we have. Let me just type in zombie. We have a bat zombie. The bats can actually fly over like collidables. So like they'll fly right over the trees and go straight to you. Um, exploding zombie, a leaping zombie. What's the exploding zombie? Oh, interesting. I forgot I added that one. All right, there's also a leaping zombie, which I I think it also needs to be tweaked. It doesn't really leap too much. You can see there it kind of leaped, but I got to tweak the parameters to make it like more accurate when it leaps. Um, I was like, you'll see it gets into range and doesn't actually attack sometimes. And then the last one is a spitter zombie. So these actually shoot projectiles at you. Looks like my game just crashed, so that's always a great sign. Let me just go ahead and just force restart this. Okay, so we did all the weapons. We did all of the zombies. There's also items, so like there's a crafting system you can pick up. Uh, right now there's only cloth and wood, but if you pick up enough wood, you'll see over here you can start crafting items. So if I want to craft a wall, I can then craft one with, I get two wood. I think a torch is one wood, one cloth. The UI is all in React, so like there's a, a layer above the game that's all in React panels and stuff. It just makes it a lot easier to add in user interfaces. You can also craft spikes. Those are good for like having zombies walk over them. They'll get damaged. And then also if you find three cloth, you can. And I do eventually want to add more materials to have like a more robust crafting system. In the previous version of the game, all the items used to just go straight to your inventory, but it became a giant pain of like inventory management. And I feel like just having these be craftable just like this is, is a much better user experience. The next thing I'm going to prototype doing is actually being able to craft items like this and then click them and you can place them assuming that you're close to the player you can like place them with your mouse so I think that'd be really cool in terms of like focusing on a base defensive building aspect of the game I do want the the core mechanic to be you play with friends you're trying to build out like a a fort and every night a wave of zombies will come to try to break down the fort to get to you right so I'm going to add sentry guns I'm going to add various traps as well um, and then also during the day, I want to add in like an exploration type of mechanic where you'll get rewarded if you go and try to go to, for example, the docks and maybe there's like a, a quest over there you got to do like rescue someone. I'm still trying to figure out the mechanics. I think the game is getting better. It feels a little bit more polished than it used to. I spent some time like revamping the UI to make it all kind of look nicer. Uh, we have a games control menu that pops up. 
So you can press I to open that and escape to close it. In the top right, we have a clock that lets you know when daytime is going to end and the night's going to start. So you know in the waves the zombies are going to attack you. Up here we have your resources. So you can actually know how much wood and cloth you have so you can craft these items. Uh, to the bottom right, we got some ping uh, and also the FPS and also the version number of the app. We have a coin system. So when you kill these zombies, they do drop coins. You can pick up the coins. And then there are merchants. There's actually a merchant uh, biome. Over here, you can go and actually buy items with the coins that you collect. We got sprinting. You can run a little bit faster, and that decrements the sprint bar. We also have this config up here. So a lot of the configuration of the game, you can come in here on the UI and actually change. Some of the stuff I need to add logic to go and like update the server while it's running. Because, for example, the knife attack range, when you swipe your knife, the server still has to like be the authoritative state to figure out if you actually hit something or not. Right now, I don't have that hooked up. It's just basically editing a bunch of shared state. But the things that you can potentially change, like for example, I can change the render radius of like how far the camera is around the, the player. And it's just like stuff like this. It just makes doing uh, in-game tweaks a little bit better. So I can find like that, that sweet spot of like what value this needs to be. For example, the prediction, I can actually turn on uh, the client side prediction. So I can see where the server thinks I am. You'll see there's like a ghost player. That's actually where the server thinks I am, but my client does prediction. So I'm kind of a, ahead of the server. This is good for debugging, but I've been kind of playing around with these values to make it good. Anyway, this config is a work in progress. Half the stuff probably doesn't even work because it's not hooked up to the server. And the server does need to have its values like refreshed when I change these things. And then on the mini map, we have all these different letters. These designate the special biome. So like the D stands for docs. And then now I found the docs. I do want to make it more engaging, so like to give a player a reason to kind of go to these biomes. Right now, there are weapons. So like this one has a grenade launcher that always spawns on the docks. But as of right now, I don't know if there's like a hard reason to force the players to go there. I could probably have like mini side quests or like drop a boxes of supplies that could sh spawn in these areas. By the way, I'm just brainstorming out loud, so like leave a comment if you guys have any suggestions. So that's about it for the game. There's still a lot I need to add and a lot I need to tweak. Another thing I want to point out is the editor. So I basically created this editor, which allows me to quickly go into any of these biomes and I can manually change how they look. So I can like paint the ground tiles and then on top of that, I can put the collidables. Um, a lot of features in this one as well. So we can like multi-select uh, different things in the sprite sheet here and I can click to basically overwrite this with a house. I can undo that. Uh, if I go here and click undo, I can remove that. If I go to items, I can actually specify which things I want to spawn in that biome. So if I want like a flamethrower to spawn there, I can just go ahead and do that and then click save biome at the top. Um, what else do we have here? So I think that's basically the gist of it. I can create a brand new biome if I want to, and then I can like name it and then I can start editing it. So like, let's go over here and just fill it with, uh, you know, some ground and then I can start drawing water or whatever else. Right. So it's just a way to basically like quickly edit a map or a biome. And then also like then we can fill in, you know, whatever else here and put some collidables here so the player can actually collide with it. And then in the code, I randomly generate a map where I have like just all these biomes spread out randomly on the map. The camp site biome is always in the center. This is where all the players spawn. And then we have a bunch of forests that basically interconnect all the biomes together. And then there's a merchant biome. I don't think I demoed that. I should probably go back to the game and just demo that real quick because I, I do think it is kind of interesting. So... Those will be at M, so let's go find up here. We'll walk to the merchant. And again, these are random. Every time the game restarts, like the whole map is randomly generated. So I'm going to go ahead and just buy. And you can see here, this is a work in progress, but you can actually use your coins and buy gasoline, bandage, or grenade. The items, every time the night ends, they just, it reshuffles what you can buy. So it just randomly selects some new item that the merchant might be selling. So it is kind of beneficial to go if you have enough coins just to check out what they might be selling because it might be beneficial. But again, I'm trying to figure out if the mechanics even make sense because now it's like you're forced to go run to find the merchant just to get the items when I want you to be focusing on base building. So maybe even having a separate buy menu, like one that you can literally just buy from wherever you're standing on the map. You can just buy something. I think that might be a better approach. I'm not really sure. I think that basically covers all the features I have in this version of the game. In my next devlog number two video, I'll probably just have like a smaller subset when I add stuff just so I can have talking points to discuss. But um, overall, that's about it. So if you guys do have any ideas that you think I could add into the game to make it really cool, to make it fun, to make it balanced, to make it engaging, let me know. Right, that's about it. Have a good day and happy coding.